Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Rio Blast. That's right, Eternia's resident cowboy finally gets a brand new action figure, so let's check him out. As you can see, he comes in the standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging. The back showcases a selection of other figures in the Classics line, as well as gives us a brand new bio for Rio Blast. Let's start by taking a look at the sculpt. The face on this guy is pretty great. It's a bit of an update from his vintage, more clean cut look. This time around, he has longer, windswept hair and a nice, manly handlebar mustache. He definitely has that rugged, Wild West look to the shape of his face, with a really fantastic paint job that helps to bring out all of those sculpted details. Rio Blast has a lot of new parts to accommodate his unique look. Among those, you'll notice his gloved forearms with new open palm hands that are sort of in a quick draw pose, perfect for his included blasters that we're going to take a look at in just a bit. There's a lot of great paintwork going on here too, with nice two-tone paint jobs in many areas. We get metallic browns over more flat browns on his gloves and belt, while his shirt features a more bright blue with a great mixture of browns and metallic silver for his tech parts. I love all of the little details worked into this guy. Take a look at his belt, which features bullet shells all the way around to the backside, where he has a sculpted on green pouch and a black bullwhip. And then the design of his legs makes it look as though he's wearing chaps. And on his feet, he's sporting cowboy boots, complete with spurs sculpted onto the backside. The little details like that, all with very nice paint, really make this guy stand out as something quite different than most of the other figures in this line. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Rio Blast here. First things first, let's go ahead and start by running down his articulation. You'll notice the same we got on all the other figures. Head can turn left, it can turn right, it could rock up and down. It's not hindered by the uh, armor or anything like that. You got the nice ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, move forwards and backwards. You got the swivels at the bicep. You've got standard joints at the elbow. He doesn't have anything at the glove cut. Um, this is all a brand new sculpted forearm here. And then he just has the swivels at the hands. And you'll notice that he's got some little holes in the forearms, which is going to be for his accessories, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. He's got the torso crunch articulation, uh, which is not hindered by the armor whatsoever. And then he's got the swivel at the waist there. He's got the nice ball like joints at the thigh, so legs can go outwards, they can move forwards and backwards, good sitting pose, good straddling pose, so you know, you can get him on a horse if we have a horse. Uh, we can swivel him at the thighs there. You got the nice joints at the knee. Uh, there's no swivels in the boot or anything like that because of the chaps that are sculpted on there. And then the ankles just go up and down, and they are very, very tight on this figure. Um, you can see it's really hard to actually articulate his feet so that could actually be a good thing he shouldn't have any problems falling over but really tight joints there at the ankles so this guy's got a lot going on because of all of the weapons that we're going to attach now if you guys are familiar with the vintage rio blast action figure uh you'll remember that all of the weapons were sort of embedded into the figure there so uh you would just actually pull out all of the parts and the guns would kind of come out with it he had like hole in his chest and hole in his thighs and all the guns were stored that way um that is not the case with the new figure here in the classics line instead all of your accessories are clip-on accessories, um, which is pretty much what we should expect at this point. A lot of the things have just been clip-on parts instead of action features in this line, like Mechanex neck and stuff like that. So, a uh, few things I want to talk about with how all of that works. First of all, let's look at this flap right here on his armor. Um, it's all worked onto the armor itself. So he just has the standard torso underneath, which is a, a very similar thing we've been seeing. Uh, you'll notice it is a little puffy. You can see the lats are huge under here. Um, but it just clips on like all the other armors. He's got the standard little nubs there that you can pull off. So the flap on the front 
that would fold down on the vintage figure that actually has the gun inside is just a standard flap on this one that we're actually going to plug this little red gun onto. Now, one of the things about this that I don't like at all is the fact that it never closes all the way. Um, you've probably noticed in a lot of my shots that I've already had showing him, especially on his profile there, you can see that it just doesn't close. It's always going to be open slightly. Um, part of it is folded down, so it's kind of meant to be a flap that folds down, but it just doesn't press up all the way against his chest. And the problem is because the little uh, hole nub on the inside there prevents this flap from getting flush with his chest. So it is always going to look like it's folded down part way. And I really don't like that at all. Uh, I, I really wish that it could close all the way. I don't know if maybe the answer would have been just to give him a new torso instead of this armor piece and actually embed the gun in a hole inside. Um, instead, he's got like this little circuitry thing that's sculpted on, which is neat looking, but I just really don't like that we can't close that flap all the way. So... Open that flap, we've got the little red gun, it's just got a little peg on the bottom that plugs into this hole right here. It's a nice tight fit, um, but that's how we get our gun on the chest flap now, instead of just folding it out of his chest like on the vintage toy. Uh, other things that we're going to attach, we've got this large backpack. Um, you'll notice the backpack when you're looking at it, it's the only thing that doesn't have a really nice paint job. It's all just done in sort of a flat gray. Um, the rest of them's got fantastic two-tone paint all the way through, so um, they must have just ran out of money and <laughs> couldn't do the extra paint apps on the backpack, unfortunately. But it does have three little hole uh, plugs right there, I'm sorry, three little prongs that will plug into the holes on the back there just like that and then you got these little cables which are painted nicely they're a nice metallic silver and you'll want to attach those to the little holes on his forearm to complete that look so that's actually really cool looking now just like on the vintage figure you can fold this up and fold it down over the head but here's where we run into another problem you'll notice that there's little visors worked onto the top of this gun they don't come down over his face so when you fold this thing down over his head as long as we keep it plugged into the back there, it doesn't cover his eyes. It just sort of sits and floats up above his head. It looks really goofy. Another thing that I don't like. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work too well on this guy. On the vintage figure, it came all the way down and covered his face. Doesn't do that on this one. Kind of a bummer. All right. Handguns. On the vintage figure, he just had little guns that swiveled out. On this one, you have to plug them in. So he's got these little holes... Right there on the inside of his forearms, you'll just plug in his guns, just like so. They fit nice and snug. And the hands are sculpted really cool. Kind of like I said, it's like, it looks like a quick draw kind of sculpt. So that way we've got the little pistols coming off of his forearms onto his hand sculpts there. Now, I got another nitpick with this. I mentioned that he doesn't have any forearm swivels because of that way his gloves are sculpted there and with the holes. The reason I don't like that is we can't swivel the guns. They're always stuck in this pose facing forward. And that means that we can't get good like poses out to the side because the guns aren't straight. They're always going to be kind of lopsided like that. So forearm swivels really would have helped that. Otherwise, the guns do plug in nice and firm so you don't have to worry about them falling out. Lastly, we got the little fold down uh, thigh flaps there. Again, on the vintage figure, just like with the chest, he just had the guns kind of embedded. It had holes in his thighs. When it folded down, uh, the guns would come out. This time, just like with the chest, you're just going to plug them on to the uh, little pegs that are on the little flaps there. And worth noting with this, these are just kind of plugged onto the articulation joints of his legs. So they pop off very easily. Um, so you might even kind of accidentally pop them off when you're plugging on the guns themselves. But otherwise, they still work nice. I mean, it works good enough. And uh, once we get them all armed up, now we can pose them around with all of his accessories. So, got, it definitely has some flaws. But uh, that's how you pose Rio Blast with all of his guns. All of his interchangeable accessories can pop on and off, allowing you to display Rio Blast in a variety of different poses. You can recreate that all armed up pose of the vintage toy, or just come up with your own poses using less accessories. The options are definitely nice to have. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at Rio Blast standing alongside his vintage counterpart, giving you an idea of how he is both similar and a little different at the same time. 
and here he is alongside the NECA stack ship. You can tell that many elements were taken from this design and worked into his new classics figure. So there you go my friends, there's a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Classics Rio Blast. Personally, I'm all for the wide variety of characters in the world of Motu, and I'm happy to be receiving some of these more bizarre ones who came out towards the end of the vintage line. The figure itself is a great looking piece for the most part, with a wonderful sculpt and really great paintwork. His action feature probably could have been executed a little better though. It really bugs me that the flap on his chest can't close all the way. It just looks really bad hanging open the way it does. And I sort of feel like you can't articulate him as good as you should be able to for some of his gun wielding poses. The lack of forearm articulation definitely hurts that. This figure looks great, he was pretty close to being perfect. Rio Blast is part of the 2014 Club Eternia subscription and will be available on MattyCollector.com on September 16th. Until next time.